Hi, I'm Bianca Peters. It is Tuesday, March 27th. Let's get a check on that travel forecast from meteorologist Dave Warren. And traveling, if you have been going to the upper uh, northern plains uh, around the Midwest, could see a few showers or even thunderstorms there around Chicago. But it is all rain, though. Uh, the colder air is pushed to the north. Here across the southeast, uh, we will look at temperatures in the lower 80s. Uh, those showers and storms slowly pushing south there through parts of Mississippi. Rain showers going into West Virginia and then trying to work their way into parts of the northeast there. But could just see a light passing snow shower up around Maine. Northern plains tomorrow, a little cooler with that breeze coming in around Fargo, 39 degrees. 50s with a few spotty showers there around Minneapolis and the Southern Plains seeing those showers. Southwest is all clear 60s and 70s. It gets a little cooler across the Pacific Northwest with maybe just a few light mountain snow showers. Back to you. Thanks, Dave. Well, every Tuesday on CBS 4 News, we share stories about why mentoring matters. This week, we focus on a program called Teens and Teachers. At its annual workshop at the Perez Art Museum, Miami, teens and educators work side by side examining the school tragedy in Parkland, the mass shooting plague in the nation. CBS 4's Rudabe Shabazi reports on how the workshop turned mentees into mentors. I was kind of wondering if you think that political apathy is a problem, and if it is a problem, should we solve it? At PAM, students are discussing more than art. On this day, they're here to teach the teachers, and even the city of Miami police chief, about the pulse of their generation. They're here to address their fears, hopes, questions, and solutions when it comes to school shootings, from a perspective only they can really understand. There is a certain amount of paranoia, there's a certain amount of discomfort, Comfort that is a part of our school days and that needs to be dealt with. The adults who have taught and shaped the young people who have emerged as bold and determined leaders are now here to be mentored themselves. Even as adults, we need mentors. We need people that we can talk to and look up to so much more for a teen or youth. So to have adults you can rely on, talk to, that take you seriously as a teen, it's an amazing an important aspect of any teenager's life. Today, the traditional relationship is flipped on its head. So whatever we think teachers need to learn, whatever we, we think is misrepresented or unheard, we, we use this day to deliver that to teachers. She told me that she was afraid of being in the bathroom alone because it was after school. And while not everyone here has been a direct victim of gun violence, they are all left with its scars. Being able to have a discussion and seeing what that can give us, you know, can it give us like comfort? Can it make us feel like something's being solved? Can it give us hope for the future? Like all those sorts of things can come from a discussion, but first we need that discussion. Pam is giving them the platform to do that. Art really of any, any genre is perfect tool for stimulating dialogue and just having the opportunity to talk about something outside of ourselves. Art brings us together or at least gets us talking about issues. Claudia and Natasha are PAM teen ambassadors, tasked with drawing other teenagers into the art space and talking about issues through programs like this workshop. I think uh, most teenagers, they feel um, like their voice doesn't matter. So it's cool that we get to spread a message and to things that's important to us. Along with dialogue, these action patches, everyone creating a unique and meaningful square of art representing how they are moving forward to come together in a quilt of unity. My generation is, is a really strong one and I think people are starting to realize that. I would tell kids my age that we are our own support group and we're going to work hard to make the changes that we want to see in the world that we're going to be leading. So this is all about change and it's all about sticking together and that's what we need. Well, also at the vote workshop, a voter registration table was set up where students as young as 16 were able to register to vote, even though they won't be able to cast a ballot until 2020. But a number of students took advantage of the opportunity and filled out the required forms. For more information on how you can become a mentor, head over to our website, cbsmiami.com slash mentoring matters. And we have a whole list of organizations you can get involved with. We also want to hear about the mentors in your life. Email us at mentoringmatters at cbs.com. Thank you for watching. I'm Bianca Peters. A reminder, we're always on cbsfamily.com. Have a great day.